Hello everybody and welcome to a November update. Uh, my name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer trying to bring uh, features and fixes that everyday Inkscape users need. Thank you for jo joining me this week. Um, thank you for the people who got into the spirit of last week's video. Uh, having a bit of a time off and a bit of uh, play with these vi videos is a lot of fun. Um, so this week we actually have some updates. Uh, actual things, actual work. So first of all, as usual, I want to give a big thank you to all of the supporters on Patreon and Libra Pay for helping me fund the hours that I work on Inkscape. Uh, thank you all very much. This this literally would not be possible to do it without your help. If you'd like to join them and increase the amount of time that I'm able to spend on Inkscape, uh, please consider, I've put links below in the, in the description. Uh, let's get to the work itself. So this week, I uh, small fixes first. So we have a um, text bug where if you have a piece of flowed text and then you select the option unflow, so you don't want it to flow inside the shape anymore, it would just dart off the screen and, and be re re repositioned in a strange place. This is to do with the way that transforms work. Uh, I've managed to fix that by pinning it back to whatever the whatever the, the the center of the text is, so it won't jump jump around. Um, a bit esoteric, but I've added an option to the extensions so that uh, extension authors can limit their, ex their their export extensions to only appear in the save as copy dialog instead of the regular save as dialog. This was a request. Uh, some extensions authors want to um, educate the users to be more specific about saving as a copy instead of saving as as if the format that they were saving as was authoritative in some some way, and it's not. Um, so that's in. Um, intern James, if you remember him from a few weeks ago, he's still w working hard on bugs. Uh, he's fixed a bug with the font selection. So if you have a piece of text and you select it and you set the font and then you select a different piece of text and you set the font again, it refused to set the font the second time. And he, he big congratulations for him because that was a particularly difficult problem. Uh, James, I'm discovering, is, is one of these uh, developers who loves to tackle the most uh, difficult problems just so he can learn the most about it. Um, so my hat's off, well... Hats off to him for uh, you know going into Inkscape in hard mode. Um, so there is actually some multi-page bug fixes and cra crashes and stuff that, that I worked on. Uh, what I basically been doing is I'm gearing up to try and get the multi-page work uh, reviewed. It's such a big piece of work that it's probably going to need a lot of uh, other developers to just look at it, make sure that it's correct, make sure that it's not doing anything egregiously wrong. So uh, apart from fixing some of the issues that we already know about, uh, especially fixing crashes and things like that, um, reviewing, I, I managed to get some review of the code already, which is great, going to developer meetings and asking for, for, for reviews. Uh, I've also been trying to work with Mikov because I'm hoping to be able to ask him pretty pleased to, to do a full review of the multi-page work. Uh, so with that, I've been doing some collaborations with him on some of the stuff that he's been doing. Uh, one of those is an upgrade to the objects, the, the new objects and layers dialog. The whole idea here is that we're going to uh, remove the layers dialog and we're just going to have this new objects dialog. You'll probably remember actually the objects dialog from last November, so about a year ago. Um, we didn't get it in for 1.1 1. Uh, 1 because it, was, uh, it wasn't quite ready. Uh, and I finished that uh, in 2021. But Mycob has some great ideas for how to polish it further, fix some of the, the context men menu regressions, things things like that. So I was helping him with some of the uh, theming and some several options uh, about how to do things like cell re rendering and things. Um, so that should that's already into master. So that will definitely get into one one point two. And that objects dialog is looking really sweet. Uh, we're very very close to being able to remove the layers di dialog itself without regressions and uh, this should increase the speed of Inkscape quite considerably because some of these old di dialogues are, are quite slow um, and so like these the, the new code is so much faster because it's just we thought about the fact that you had 
people using very large documents with lots of ob objects and you couldn't just refresh entire lists of thousands of things every single time you move the you move one of the things or you deleted one one of the things um so that should improve the quality of life for many people um this brings us actually to what i've been spending a lot of my time on which is the layers code the layers code is, it has been in a right mess um basically we have a situation where the uh <laughs> many of the aspects of layers uh about how how they're being used have been <laughs> reworked and reworked and reworked by several of the developers to to such degree that we have three different layer managers three different like parts of the code base that claim to be authoritative in terms of like what layers are and we also have a lot of stuff like moving through the uh, the the central desktop concept and it's just a just an absolute mess and so in order to fix some of the speed problem problems in inkscape you first have to address the code maintainability problems and so i've been working with mike again and uh he basically remove like re refactoring all of that code so that we can remove a lot of code um stop it just filtering everything through de desktop stop the command line in interface for example creating a, a layers manager which is just not need needed uh you know creating lots of things that just don't need to be done in the way that they're being done but they're done because the people who are programming them um they come into the inkscape pro project they maybe spend a couple of months with us f adding a feet feet feature and they don't necessarily understand deeply about how stuff works so they just in case write some code to like make sure it, it, it doesn't crash right um perfectly reasonable but it does mean that you end up with the code base that kind of sprawls every now and then so you need some somebody with it with, who has more of a experience to be able to come in and just refactor stuff and clean it up uh, that branch is still ongoing but i'm hopefully that we'll be able to finish that first part of the, the layers refactoring there's a second part that involves wi widgets which hopefully will increase speed of things like selecting things in different layers we'll get to that later uh my plan is to is to keep on uh, pushing the review of the page, multi-page stuff because I, I really do want to get that in for, for 1.2 even though it is a really big task uh, I think it's important to to kind of get these bigger features in because they're going to they're going to bit rot really fast because they touch so, so so much of the code um, that's about it for this week uh, there, there's a lot going on in Inkscape right now a lot of a lot, lot of stuff going on so a big thank you to everybody who's continuing to help out contributing to the Inkscape pro project um, thank you all and I hope you have a good November week <laughs>